this short video, we're going to teach you everything you need to know about parting and grooving on a sliding head lathe. Joining me today is Steve from Walter, and Steve, we're going to be talking about uh, your parting and grooving. So, if engineers watching this, if they've got a CNC lathe, there's a good chance they're going to need parting and grooving. So, how can Walter help? Well, we've had a, a strong portfolio of product now for a number of years um, in the standard range, which um, you know, comprises modular. Uh, parting and grooving tools, block and blade tools, and, and square shank tools. And uh, this uh, tool and insert we're discussing today, the, the DX18, the Walter Cut DX18 insert, and the associated uh, G4014 tool has been developed specifically with sliding head applications in, in, in mind and, and the Swiss auto type machines. Yeah, so parts appear to be getting smaller, don't they? There's more and more sliding heads appearing. So I see this is a big market for you guys. So, so what have you done to this tool to make it better? So the, the G4014 tool, if we consider that uh, in the first instance, what we've done is we've um, developed a new uh, insert clamping system, which Walter calls Smart Lock. And this uh, insert uh, clamping system has been moved now from the historically from the top of the tool on our old XLDE range it was it was on the top of the tool now with G4014 it's been moved to the side of the tool and that allows us to now change the insert index the insert without having to remove the uh, the, the tool from the platen um, and that, that represents something like a 70% saving in, in down yeah I, I can imagine that's a, that's a huge saving isn't it now you can just well you don't need like you say just just, just go in with your arm rather than taking the tool completely out. It's a big saving. But how about the stability of the of the insert and how that affects productivity? Okay, so smart lock. The the clamping forces are are improved by the new new system, and and we see um, the extraction force now required to remove the insert when it's clamped in operation is increased by somewhere in the region of about forty percent. So it's a lot more stable. It allows us to run higher data but we also get uh, better cutting conditions and, and, and that extends tool life. Um, the other thing to mention about the G4014 tool is that they're available with through coolant or, or, or without through coolant now. So when we consider the shank sizes uh, on the solid tools, the non through coolant tools, they start at 10 mil square and they rise 12, 16 and 20 millimeter square. And the through coolant versions, um, they start at 12 millimeter square and run up to, uh, to 16 square and 20 millimeters square with capability of parting up to 35 mil bar. Mm -hmm. So all, all in all, it's a, it's a, it's a massive improvement on, on what we had before the XLDE range. So yeah, through current, very important. Heat resistant alloys need it really. And obviously these stringy materials, it does help break the mm -hmm. swarf away. And whilst we're talking about these, these materials, Let's talk about your inserts, maybe the widths, the grades, the mm -hmm. geometries, things like this. Okay, sure. So the, the, if we consider the widths on the DX18 insert, it's been launched um, uh, starting at 1.5 millimeters wide, um, and that then goes to 2.5 and 3 millimeters wide in the, in the initial launch. Geometry-wise, and, and as far as grades are concerned as well, we draw upon the strengths of our existing uh, grooving and parting programs. So, a lot of those geometries will be familiar with, with current users of, uh, of our previous tools, but those geometries are GD6 for, uh, for first choice geometry for grooving applications. And then we have uh, three further geometries, C for the first choice parting geometry for ISOP steels, uh, and then CF5, which is the first choice parting geometry for ISOM steels. And it has some crossover into ISOS as well. And, and, the, and the fourth uh, geometry is CF6 as well. Okay, the final point for me, and it's probably the most important, how, how are we gonna make sure that, that insert is sat correctly, it's not gonna come out, it's not gonna damage at all? The, 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 the patented design of this new FormFit DX18 uh, insert um, enables a secure and stable location in the back of the pocket detail, and it's, it's very, um, very securely and stably held now. It allows us to run higher data as we touched on previously, and, and it offers a, a, better, a better tool life. Okay, so we know the insert's being held very rigidly. Yeah. You know, what grades do you offer? So grade-wise, um, four grades available in the initial launch, um, and they are WKP23S for the ISOP area, and then we have the WSM grades for ISOM steels and some crossover into ISOS as well, and those grades are WSM 23S, 33S, and 43S, and that draws upon the strength of the, the previous Tiger Tech Silver grade technology that we've developed for the existing mm -hmm. range. Yes, yeah, so, so it's a large range because it's just been launched. So mm -hmm. thank you very much for your time. You. So if you're watching this video and you're in the market for a sliding head lathe, or maybe you already have them, 
uh, I do urge you to get in touch with uh, the team at Walter Tools. Thank you for watching.